Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, I'm teacher. Fine. Good evening. How was your weekend? Uh, so bad, teacher. So, so. Yesterday, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, day before yesterday and yesterday, I was sick about flu uh, symptoms. But today is better. I feel so good. Okay, it's nice to hear that you feel better now. Yeah. Nice. And the rest of you? No le sacó carrera a la lluvia. No. No? Are you no. okay now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, Reina. I see that you say good evening here. So, um, well, today I have a couple of announcements for you. I think it's something that you already know. Uh, I was checking the platform yesterday y más de la, quizás la mitad del grupo no habían llegado ni siquiera a la sección 3. Ya para hoy ya tendrían que haber terminado la sección 1, la 2, la 3, el midterm exam y estar comenzando con los ejercicios de la sección 4. Teacher, Así es que, ¿cuándo termina este? El próximo miércoles, de esta semana al próximo. Okay. Entonces ya se está revisando, ya se está auditando todo eso para poder reservarles el cupo, ¿verdad? Los que quieran seguir, so se nos um, pidió hacerles el recordatorio de que por favor la plataforma completa lo más que puedan, ¿verdad? Vi algunos que ya la terminaron, excelente por, por ello, ¿verdad? Eso... Eh, ya no van a tener ningún inconveniente por, en cuanto a la comple al, al, al completar la plataforma, porque acuérdense que son eh, varios requisitos, entre ellos está ese, el completar la plataforma. Su asistencia, el tiempo que hayan estado conectados en clase es otro. El llenar la encuesta de satisfacción en general por lo del módulo, por eh, mí como facilitadora, también es requisito. Y eh, eh, los documentos los tienen que mandar en un solo PDF. Eh, es decir, no van a mandar un PDF por el DUI, otro PDF por el NID y así, sino que tiene que ser un solo PDF al correo de soporte arroba inglés corporativo. No lo tienen que mandar a, al WhatsApp del grupo o de los administradores. Tiene que ser a ese correo de soporte a ningún otro porque si no pues no será considerado o tomado en cuenta eh, no sé si tienen dudas hasta acá no questions no ok si no hay dudas entonces vamos a avanzar antes de la clase les mandé la presentación de ya lo que será la sección 4. Vamos a terminar la sección 3 ahora y a empezar la 4 con los contenidos que logremos avanzar. So to start, we have a video in which uh, they explain us how to form comparatives using adjectives. That was the last topic that we studied the last week. So we're gonna go there and watch that video and then we're going to explain and exercise a little bit more on that. Let's see, I'll wait for it to load. What you said. Sure is kind of slow. Okay. Hi. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see.
Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer. Like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay, so what did you get from the video? Was it easy? How do you feel about this topic? It's easy, teacher. It's easy? Yeah. Okay, and the rest of you? What do you think? Okay, as it is easy, I think that you don't need extra explanations. Maybe when you use uh, uh, another adjective with two or three syllables, it's different. Okay, so that might be like, okay, so in the presentation for this section, which is the number three, I included uh, a chart. Let's include un, un, un chart in esta presentación, en donde, bueno, explica acá, cuando estamos comparando, usualmente es entre dos objetos, ¿verdad? Hacemos una comparación. Para hacer comparaciones, utilizamos adjetivos, como decir bonito, eh, caro, barato, amargo, eh, colorido, aburrido, etc. Esos son adjetivos. Los utilizamos para describir, para comparar en este caso. Eh, en la mayoría de casos, aquí el spelling solo tenemos como un pa unos ejemplos. Ya les voy a explicar cómo funciona lo del spelling. Eh, siempre que estamos haciendo comparatives, vamos a utilizar la palabra dan después del adjetivo. Dan, para decir eh, más bonito que, prettier than, más estilizado que, more stylish than. ¿Y a qué obedece este spelling? Eso obedece al cartelito que les puse acá. Voy a hacerlo grande. Ah, excelente. Ok, so, a la mayoría de adjetivos que son de una sílaba, le vamos a agregar ER o solamente la R. Luego del adjetivo siempre vamos a utilizar DAN. Eh, acuérdense que en inglés las sílabas las, las contamos por la pronunciación, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántos sonidos escuchamos? Si pronunciamos cold, nice. Es un solo sonido, es una sílaba, cold, nice. El adjetivo cold... Le vamos a agregar ER y luego DAN para decir más frío que colder than. Y tenemos ejemplos acá. In Canada, winter is colder than summer. Okay. 
En Canadá siempre está haciendo frío, pero decimos en Canadá el invierno es más frío que el verano. Y igual allá verano es frío, es <ríe> más frío el invierno. So, uh, ahí tenemos la comparación de las dos estaciones del año. Estamos diciendo que el invierno es más frío que el verano. Ahora, ¿qué pasa con el adjetivo nice? El adjetivo nice termina en e. Entonces ya no le vamos a agregar e, otra e, sino que solamente la r. Nicer than. Chocolate ice cream is nicer than strawberry ice cream. Ahora, con los, los adjetivos que son de dos o más sílabas, vamos a agregar la palabra more al principio del adjetivo. Luego el adjetivo sin modificarlo, sin er ni nada. Y luego el dan. Tenemos dos, con dos adjetivos para dar el ejemplo. Tenemos boring. Boring. Adjetivo de dos sílabas. Boring. Y luego... Boring. Expensive. Boring. Tiene tres sílabas. Expensive. Expensive. Entonces, con estos adjetivos solo le van a agregar la palabra more al principio. Luego el adjetivo tal cual, sin agregarle er ni nada. Y luego el dan para decir más tal cosa que. En este caso, más aburrido que more boring than. More expensive than. And we have examples here. I think... Golf is more boring than baseball. This restaurant is more expensive than that restaurant. Ahora, si los adjetivos tienen do, dos sílabas y terminan en Y, entonces cambiamos la Y por I latina y agregamos ER y luego siempre dan. Tenemos early y happy. Ambos terminan en Y. Entonces se elimina la Y, se cambia por I latina y se agrega ER. Earlier than. He arrived at the school earlier than I did. Happy. Happier than. Vea cómo cambia ahí la escritura al final. Happier than. John looks happier than David. Then we have adjectives that end with a single vowel and a consonant double the final letter before adding than. Adjetivos que terminan en, eh, eh, que van a terminar así, consonante, vocal, consonante, consonante, vocal, consonante. Y que además de eso, sean adjetivos que suenan eh, con estrés, son palabras fuertes. Por ejemplo, big, big, es una, es, suena fuerte, ¿verdad? Big, hot, la pronunciación es estrés, uh, big, hot. Entonces, en estos casos vamos a agregar, a, o bien, duplicar la última consonante, agregar er y luego el dan. Aquí tenemos el ejemplo con big, la última consonante es g, entonces la duplicamos. Ponemos doble G, ER y luego el DAN. Russia is bigger than Canada. Hot. Duplicamos la T y ponemos DAN después. Hotter than. In my country, August is hotter than January. Ahora, estas reglas de spelling no es como que nos las vamos a aprender ahorita en una sección, ¿verdad? Para los que sienten que es un poquito difícil. Esto es como ir ejercitando, ir viendo el cartelito. Si no me acuerdo de la regla, a ver qué decía. O si era irregular, regular, si seguía regla y etcétera. Y, bueno, tienen este ejercicio en su material en el que, pues, se ve un poquito borroso. Vamos a tratar de, de hacer lo mejor que podamos. En este caso, pretty, ¿qué aplicarían con el adjetivo pretty? Prettier. Um, prettier. Prettier than. Ajá, ¿y qué cambiarían? ¿Qué cambios? Which dress is, Ajá, is está bien. Prettier, prettier than. than. Ok, mm -hmm. good. Pero el spell. Ajá. Ahí en este caso eliminamos Y like and add I ER. Very good. Um, expensive. ¿Qué van a hacer con expensive? 
more expensive. Expensive than. More than. expensive than. Excellent. Now, large. La, large, larger. La, uh, uh, Ajá, solo le van a agregar. Y R, R. R, ok, R y dan, ¿verdad? Larger yeah, than. Larger than. Big. ¿Qué dijimos con el big? Bigger. Bigger. Double G, double G. Excellent. Double G, than. Bigger than. Now let's take a look to the next one. Good. What about good? Uh, it's, it's better. Mm -hmm. Es de los irregulares. Irregulars. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Better. Con doble T. Better. Uh, now, stylish. More stylish. More stylish More than. Stylish than. More, more stylish. Okay. Very good. Then we have this reading exercise. Luego tenemos esta lectura. Solo quiero que lean. Eh, vamos a ver párrafo uno, voluntario. Me? Thank you. Okay. Uh, number one. Do you like shopping online? Do you like finding a bargain or goodbye? Then eBay is for you. eBay is the world's online marketplace. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. With over ever 18 million members, eBay is more popular than any other shopping site on the internet. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. Um, bargain. What is bargain? Como es bargado. Product second hand teacher? No, second hand is, 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 yeah, you can say used or second hand. Um, a bargain, it tiene como noun, es como decir una ganga. It's a bargain. Ah, okay. If you say como un nombre, ah, this is a bargain. Es una ganga. Ah, Ahora, okay. como verbo, como acción, significa regatear. Uh -huh. This is when you go to the supermarket and you ask um, uh, how much are the tomatoes and they said five per dollar and you say give me six for a dollar. So you're yeah, right. bargain. Yes, esa okay. la acción de regatear es bargain como acción y como noun es una ganga, una oferta. Cool. Thank you so much. Now, number two, volunteer to read the number two. Paragraph mm -hmm. two. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Ok, Reina, y luego el 3, escuché un mi masculino por ahí. Bueno, Adán. Adán. Ok, Adán, you're going to read the number 3. <laughs> Reina, okay. number 2. Ok, teacher. People try the meaning of different things. Oh, he, he ways. He ways. He ways. We take from cars to electronics to musical instruments, hair show in, in girls, and under parks, and under, under men, then on the wayside, other members by other. Money for the them, the person who is much money get to buy, buy, get to buy the item. Them. Then they learn. Then, then send the item to the buyer. Okay, item. Very good. Thank you so much, Reina. Good. Uh, questions about the vocabulary here? Sure. What is a member, but? Member. Uh, member, member, member. I'm oh, not sorry. You just have to Buy. Or bid or buy. It's so uh, a teacher. Es una oferta. Ofertar. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
es oferta cuando es algo que está en subasta. Uh -huh. Igual la palabra es subasta, es buy, igual cuando usted oferta como acción es, es igual, es a bid. How do you pronounce? Bid. 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 No, it's bid. Yeah, sorry. Ah, bid. Ah, okay. Any other question? <clears throat> okay, Adam, number three, please. Okay, teacher. Selling on eBay is easy, says my stack. He's the owner of a company that sell used computers. And he adds, I made friend on eBay. I seem it's a very friendly place, but some people don't like it. I think the traditional way to shop is better, says Jennifer. As a student, I want to touch them, not see a picture of them. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Um, if you uh, have questions about vocabulary, I think I don't have new words, right? No. I don't know. Uh, number four. Me too, Emily. Okay, Emily, thank you. Bad weather, July is or, or not eBay is here to stay. There are no eBay users in the United States, Europe, Latin America, China, and many other countries. Some people may be able to shop on eBay anywhere in the world. Okay, very good. So um, this is kind of simple as well. And with this reading, we finished the section number three. Now in section number four is what I sent before the class. Let me share my screen with you. I send it over the WhatsApp group. Mm, it should be here. Uh, here it is. Okay, so to continue with this, we have an exercise about the Comparatives, how to make comparatives. This is a kind of review. Eh, tienen otra vez el, el, el chart, pero ya como eh, incluimos algunos irregular comparative adjectives aquí. Aquí tienen lo mismo que les expliqué anteriormente de cómo se forman, cuál es el spelling rule de los para hacer comparatives. Y tienen algunos irregulares. ¿Qué decimos que son irregulares? Que no entran, no siguen una regla. They change That's spelling cool. completely. And we have good changes to better than. Bad changes to well, well, worse then. than. And far changes to farther than. Or further than. El, de las dos maneras. Lo escriba como lo escriba. No, it doesn't make any difference. So this, it has to these two ways of changing questions here. Okay, as no questions, you're going to develop this exercise. Fill in the blanks below to compare the sentences. Study the above boxes. Pueden ir chequeando las boxes, verdad? Para que vayan acordándose de cuál spelling rule le van a aplicar o si no pueden aplicar porque es irregular. Acuérdense que vamos a usar el verbo to be eh, antes de, de hacer los cambios con el adjetivo. For example, here tengo I y el adjetivo que me dan para hacer la comparación es tall. And my sentence is I am taller than my sister. What about number two, Sarah? ¿Cómo Sarah, quedaría eso? Sarah is busier than Mary. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Sarah is busier than Mary. ¿Y cómo me quedaría el spelling aquí en busy? Uh, uh, change the why for I, E, R. Excellent. Change it why for I and R, E, R, and then done. Sarah is busier than Mary. So I'll give you a couple of minutes so you to be able to write them, write the answers in your notebook, and then we're going to check no. You can look at the chart in order to apply the rules. Mm
finish the exercise? No yet, teacher. No yet. Okay. One moment, teacher, please. That's fine. Thank you. Teacher, una pregunta. Um, Cuando serían los irregular, por, for example, go, sería, o sea, cambio totalmente la palabra y sería better. Ok. Yeah, that's correct. Y siempre pone el done, después better than. Finish. I finished, teacher. Okay, let's listen to some people saying how did you solve and what changes did you apply? Let's start with Irving. Can you give us number three? The sun is hotter than the earth. Okay, good. And what changes did you apply? Double T. Double T. Okay, excellent. Uh, number four, Walter. Okay, the earth, the earth is larger than the moon. The change is only at R. Excellent. Thank you so much. Alejandro, can you continue with number five? Elephants um, are bigger, bigger that. Oh, no sé si me estoy, me estoy equivocado. Bigger than horses. Okay, yeah. What changes did you apply? Okay, bigger with WG. Mm -hmm. ER. Bigger. Ah, bigger. Bigger, ajá, uh -huh. con yeah. doble G, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Very good. Emma, can you continue with number six? Um, action movies are more exciting comedies. Than comedies. Okay, more exciting than comedies. Very good. Adam, can you continue with number seven? This restaurant is better than than restaurant. This restaurant is better than restaurant. Than that restaurant. Very good. Better. The WT is irregular. Thank you so much. Um, than, than. Okay. Jose Mauricio. Number eight, please. Okay. Salad are more healthy than hamburgers. Healthier, sorry. Healthier, uh-huh. Salads are than healthier hamburgers. than hamburgers. The Teacher, change. In, in this case, we can use both. More yes. healthy or healthier? Mm -hmm. healthier? Some people prefer to play it safe. Y, um, En realidad se puede poner el more adjetivo than en cualquier caso. Hay gente que para no complicarse eso es lo que hace. Sí, se pueden usar ambas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. Good question. Uh, Edwin, can you continue with number nine? Hi. Yes, please. Hi. 
I think we can nicer than with days. Ok, nice. Solo le agregamos la R, yeah. ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Eh, R. And then done. Nice or done. Thank you. María Catalina, let's continue with the next one. Number 10. Lion is more dangerous than rabbits. Ajá, uh -huh. more dangerous than rabbits. Excellent. Very good. Number 11, Okeli. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, Okeli, we can hear you. Okay. The sun farther down the moon. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, Claudia Stephanie, number 12. Uh, Oscar, can you help us with number 12? Okay. ¿Qué número me dijo? El 12, ¿verdad? Yes, please. That hotel is, eh, no, no sé cómo se puede util, utilizar aquí, si solo se le agrega la... la Edad la, es de los irregulares. Bar, es eh, verdad. Es Words. irregular, cambia a worse. Words. Uh -huh. Words. That hotel is worse than this hotel. Okay, let's continue. 13, Fatima. Well, I said, yeah, cars is faster than bicycles. No sé si pronuncio bien bicicletas. Bicycles. Yes, bicycles. bicycles. Mm -hmm. Cars are faster than bicycles. Uh, Diomesis, do you have number 14? A comedy, uh, are in funnier than action movie. Are funnier action than movie. action movies. Very good. Uh, and then last one. Um, let's see, Carlos, number 15. I am more nervous than my friend. More nervous than my friend. Excellent job. Okay, so we will move to the next thing that is the beginning of section number four. And that begins with a conversation that we're going to listen in the video in a while. Just allow this to... The shirt. This is section four. In this lesson, participants listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? 
I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? The vocabulary here is quite simple. So, and you have the conversation in this section. In, in the presentation, I'm sorry. You have it there. So we're going to practice it in groups. And, but I want to double check if there is something that you would like for me to explain about this vocabulary or pronunciation here. Oh, teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Uh, cuando dice, no, I don't like it. Uh, uh, no, dice, no, I don't like it very much. Do you? ¿Verdad que eso es conocido como los tag questions? Yes, that's correct. Ah, ok. Uh, esa era una pregunta que tenía. <laughs> yes. Is there any other question? Okay, so that means that you're ready to practice these conversations. I'm going to create a section room. So allow me one moment. Okay. Let's practice this conversation. There you have the, the pop-up message. Yes, yes. Oh, a teacher, welcome. <laughs> okay, um, I, I'm Tom, um, you Liz. Okay. Okay. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it. I, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He, he's singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay. Okay, and now... Uh, Reina and, and you. Okay, okay. Reina, are you here? Hi. Reina, you are Liz. And I am Tom. Okay. Okay. Do you like rap, Reina? No, I don't like it very much to you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I am a big fan of Eminem. I been I know him. Does he play the, the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. About rap. About rap, pardon. Okay, so. What kind of music do you like? I really like uh, pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Um, aquí lo puedo cambiar. Yes. Porque me gusta la música de violín. Okay, don't have problem. No sé cómo decirlo. Violin. Violin, okay. Uh, violin, I love 
Uh, I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like. I don't like violin music very much. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Now, uh, <laughs> now, uh, Reina, you are Tom, and um, and I am Liz. You start. Okay. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Oh yeah. I uh, I do. I am big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. Uh, he's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music song of music do you like? I really like pop music. What? What's your favorite singer? Celine Dion, I love her voice. Do you like her? Uh, no, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay. And now, teacher, again. Okay, the teacher with me. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Come on, teacher. <laughs> Are you mute, teacher? Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, um, who will start? Okay, I you start. start. Okay. Okay. Do you like rap t-shirt? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I don't know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. But I am lying because I love Celine Dion too. Yes. <laughs> do you remember Titanic? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Teacher with Renita. Okay, Reina. Now I start. Okay, teacher. Do you like rap, Reina? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Uh, does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I, I guess I don't uh, know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Uh, Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I. I don't like pop music very much. Like, okay. <laughs> thank you so much. You did an amazing job, guys. So, if thank you, you teacher. Return to the main section. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye. You're welcome. Algún día. Teacher, are you so happy? <laughs> are you mute, teacher? <laughs> I was looking for Reina. Estábamos practicando y de repente me salí de la sección y ya no escuché, pero dijo algo, Reina. No le escuché bien. Perdón, Reinita, dígame. Ah, que algún día voy a hablar con, como usted. Bien bonito se le oye el inglés. Ah, uh, thank you. We yeah. were practicing together. <laughs> yeah, sounds very good. Uh, thank you so much. Mire, me daba pena, pero me consiguió trabajo pronunciar así. No me gustaba. 
Pero... Ay, está bonito. Me dijo el de reclutamiento una vez, mira, para esa cuenta, habla fresa, me dijo yo, ok, I will practice. It's, easy, it's easier for me. It's for me. No, sí, este, ayuda, entonces hay que tratar, y es como que ellos son bien expresivos, bien, oh, wow, well, well. entonces, se aprende, ya después uno lo agarra así como que, normal, se quita la pena. Está bueno, está yes. bueno. Thank you. So I'm going to check attendance before I forget it because I have the um I have the uh, the file here. Oh, it's quite tough. Uh, Me fijé que, bueno, practicaron bastante en ese grupo y, y cada vez que lo practicaban lo hacían mejor. Así que también es, es mucha práctica, mucha, mucha práctica. En la universidad nos, nos hacían como hacer dramas con obras y cosas así. Entonces la práctica ayuda bastante. Traten de repetir los diálogos que tienen ahí usando la entonación y, y así como lo escuchan. Y quítense sí. la pena porque eso es un gran obstáculo. Sí, a mí me daba pena así hacer como el acento de ellos, pero ni modo. <ríe> Hay que Dicho, pero se pega eso, ¿no? Cuando uno escucha a otra gente eh, de, de, de otro lado, uh -huh. se pega, se pega ciertas formas de hablar, ¿no? A sonido. Yeah, yeah, ah. Sí, entonces se, se va acostumbrando. Es es good to practice. Y aún así eh, cuentan historias. <laughs> historias no. urbanas. Sí. I bueno. try to avoid. Oh sí. Oh. oh sí. <laughs> El oh sí. <laughs> no eso es. Bueno, ellos casi ni lo dicen. Ellos son más, ¿really? Ya, <risa> yeah, es cierto. Ajá. Sí, no sé por qué se Ayer les pega se me el... salió. ¿Really? Ayer se me salió algo. Eh, es... Alguien me dijo algo y yo, oh, y se me quedó viendo. ¿Cómo se quedó? <risa> Vamos bien. <risa> Vamos bien. Igual sí. cuando a veces estoy escribiendo mensajes, de repente se me va y... Hey, very good. Eh, Frank, y yo, hey, ¿dónde estoy escribiendo? Ahí ya se fueron unos mensajes. Nice. That's good. Okay, Alejandro Ernesto. A present. Ana Trinidad. Present. Andrés Estefanía. Andrés Estefanía. No está porque no la veo. Carlos Armando. Teacher, sí. Teacher, perdón. Present. Ah, ah, en el grupo están escribiendo, no sé cuántos son los que se salieron, pero hay varios mensajes. Ahorita lo veo, me desatendí del WhatsApp, un poco problemas con el Inter. Trinidad. Ana Trinidad, pero ya la puse acá. Ya estoy diciendo. Mm. No sé quién es. Andrea. Ah, pues sí, Andrea escribió, pero ya, ya está ahí. Y Dinora. Ah, Dinora. Ok. Mm, Claudia Stephanie, ella sí no, no, no la veo. Ah, ya la vi acá. Present. Ok, ya la vi. Eh, quiero ver, quiero ver. Ay, Dios. Carlos Armando, Present. Claudia Stephanie y Nora Estela. ¿Quién anda corriendo? Se cansó corriendo. <risa> ¿Quién viene? Está de... cansado. Eh. Está preocupado, Pero... mataron la gallina. <risa> Dios me asistito. Present. Edwin de Jesús. Edwin Fabricio Edwin Fabricio no lo he visto no 
esta hora. Eh, Emily Yamilet. Present teacher. Emma Present Tatiana. Teacher. Thank you. Present. Emma Tatiana. Eh, Fátima del Present. Rosario. Present teacher. Irving Norberto. Present. Jaime Romeo. Qué feo se oye ese volante. Sí, yo creo que se durmió alguien, espérenme. Yo sé que está, está cansado estar a esta hora. Vaya, ahí se van a desmutear y dicen present los que me faltan. Eh, Irving Norberto. Present. Jaime Romeo. Él no se presenta. ¿no? Joana Celina. I hear teacher. José Mauricio. Present teacher. Caterina Abigail. Ok. María Catalina. María Catalina. Ahí la veo conectada. Milton Adán. Ok, thank you, María. Milton Adán. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Evelyn. Present teacher. Arkeli de Jesús. Oscar David. Present teacher. Mel Antonio. Present teacher. Reina Carolina. Present teacher. Rosa Guadalupe. Present teacher. El, el muchacho me fuerte. <risa> Saraí <risa> Saraí Beatriz Creo que no está um, Continue Walter Rafael I'm here teacher Y Jasmine Stephanie Teacher I am here I'm sorry <risa> Okay name ¿Quién era el que dijo I am here? <risa> Okeli. Yo, yo, yo. Okeli. Okeli. Okeli es. Es deep. <risa> breath, breath, deep. Deep. <risa> Se estaba durmiendo. <risa> ¿Qué, ¿Qué le pasó? <risa> Ah, bueno. <risa> ok. Uh, Hit the sack, teacher. Hit the sack. <risa> Okay, so um, then we have vocabulary about some uh, different kinds of um, music. Let's see. We have, uh, I have this picture here. So we're going to uh, go for it. Um, this is uh, a record about musical sales in the United States. When we have some vocabulary here, uh, we have rock, Others, classical, jazz, gospel, hip hop, R&B, pop, country, and new age. Is any of these words new to you? Yeah. Gospel and R&B. R&B, yeah. Okay, gospel is es como música cristiana, yeah. alabanzas, gospel. Mm, no siempre le Uh, hay gospel, um, por ejemplo, eh, hay un cantante que, le dice, que era cieguito. Ahí lo criticaron porque, por hacer música gospel y lejos de cristiana, pero sí nació siendo cristiana. Es como siempre sí. Es que la música gospel es música religiosa. Se llama Ray Charles. Él hizo música gospel. Uh, secular podríamos decirlo, pero sí nació siendo eh, muy religiosa, muy cristiana. Ok, secular. Now, RB stands for Rhythms and Blues. Mm -hmm. Rhythm and Blues. Mm -hmm. 
and new age. I, I don't know exactly if it is related to electronic or something like that. Or reggaeton. <laughs> okay, so um, bachata. Uh, you can add bachatas. What other can you add here? Tango, salsa, salsa. Okay, that's another Cumbia. kind of music. Cumbia, bachata, yeah, okay, balada, rancheras. Uh -huh. and the original reggae also reggae. Mm -hmm. So oh, this is vocabulary. Basically, this is a, like a review of the simple present. Uh, es como un repaso del presente simple hablando sobre música. Entonces esto sí va a ser un poco rápido. Eh, vamos a terminar la sección 4 el miércoles y el jueves empezamos con las 5. Si hay algún tema que quieran que repasemos, me lo hacen saber para ir preparando el repaso. Eh, that can be eh, los possessives, eh, los relative pronouns o los comparatives. Si todavía sienten que hay dificultad con eso, me avisan. Ahí los van anotando por ahí. So uh, thank you for joining today's section. It's been a pleasure to be with you here tonight. So see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. You. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Bye.